Hello beautiful people, welcome back. It's underscore Gintu. Today I'm coming one on one live from my fish pond here. And I'm making this video for an emotional things that has happened today. And I'm uh, gonna be telling out what has happened today. But uh, today, wherever you are, welcome back. And uh, it's an evening that God has granted unto us. And we really, really thank uh, for that opportunity. It's not our own wish that we could just be living today, but it's from God. And He has something to tell us that uh, we have a long way to go. So as we can embrace and make a change unto the village and unto the people who are surrounding us. So today, guys, uh, I've started with the mighty Lord and always mighty Lord is there. Ja! Respect always coming through. So, guys, uh, today, uh, from tomorrow, I'm going to be changing a little bit of my name or I'm just extending it from um, Gintu to Gintu Foundation as I've got some miscellaneous challenges that has got me in a abrupt way because uh, somebody has just come to my village today and told me, hey, uh, Gintu, how are you? I'm very fine. He came and find my dad uh, sleeping outside there because my dad is somehow sick. You can just remember why not Kibe used to give him treatment, but uh, he's just recovering. He has not yet uh, gone um, uh, recovered fully but i came and got my father outside and told my father hey i'm looking for one of the the people who are just around here i've just been told uh, he's called gintu so uh, my father uh, talked about who are you because uh, uh this is the home of uh, uh gintu so uh what do you want so the guy told uh, talked about oh that guy i want to see him i have two three talks to uh, the guy so uh, my father called me then, I talked about, do you know this guy? I talked about, oh no, I don't know this guy, but uh, we can just talk and chit chat. So I got the guy telling me about, uh, oh, you know, we have uh, the family members, um, we have people at the society who need much of the attention. You know, whenever they hear Gintu's on YouTube, they know that maybe he's a brand new or a big name, you know, and uh, it can help the society too. So I was just thinking about, oh, these people are, are, he just showed me that they are just sleeping hungry. They are, my Lord, I was about Jesus. You know, they are there, but uh, uh, sometimes I do help some of them. But uh, that's why he always talked about, oh, uh, there's one person who told me you sometimes help the, the needy, sometimes you help the aged. Because right now, guys, we can just talk about the government of Kenya. Uh, it has some movement that uh, they help the elderly, but uh, you have to register, you have to do what, banks and what and what. Some they don't have such kind of the knowledge because uh, of the uh, traditional methods. You know, the traditional methods of uh, uh, getting money or uh, uh, storing money, you know, they never knew about uh, such kind of the banks and something like that. So I was about, oh. Uh, you know, these people, there's uh, one of the guys who are just here, they have paralyzed and even uh, some people have neglected them. So they don't have anyone who can just take care of them. So I was about, oh my Lord, so what can I do? Even guys, I went with that man to where he was just talking about. When I reached there, I was surprised. One village has more than five people who have paralyzed. I was, yeah, what is happening? And even, it's not so far from my village, it's like um, one kilometer, you can talk about, uh, not even one kilometer, it's like 700 meters from home. So I was, uh, I was not even in that mood of even getting some lunch. So I went and I saw the people, everyone has his own challenge on how, I initially they were well, I never knew this, because sometimes you can never know, they are stocked into their houses, they are just left there, and you can never know. So guys, uh, from tomorrow I'm going to get a movement, that is going to help the needy and also it's going to help the people at the village areas so as we can boost their lives a little bit even if it's supplying them with some food and uh, uh, I want to be going back to my same route that uh, initially I was uh, practicing fish farming and to the dam that I just uh, made some video from there it was built in 1952 and uh, I was removing there and getting I was fishing a lot of fish from there and I was helped with the much of the people who came, not only that uh, uh, to, to see what I'm doing, also they come to, uh, to see what I'm doing and also to get some uh, food from there. Because uh, whenever you uh, get yourself uh, pulling uh, the net, you can just get something good. So uh, I'm going to be requesting for uh, my friends who are just in Kisumu. 
so as they can just help me with the net of fishing because it's a public pond. You can just access there and remove some fish and I'm going to be helping these people with fish because that's what I can do best. And also I want to be saying that that's why I'm just starting this video from this farm I am here and this farm mostly it's a, it has three fish ponds here guys you know it and um, uh, this fish pond mostly or uh, the upper one I want to be making it officially for the needy people so as whenever I stock some fish there it will be more specifically for the need and I will just hustle with the other two so as I, I'll see how the movement is going and uh, guys uh, some people will be just talking about oh where have you reached in terms of uh, uh, the fish farming and everything like that here you can even see this fish pond now is full of water right now here and this one also it's full of water the upper one it has a little bit challenge because uh it has not reached at that extent of uh, of me uh, stocking here some fish because of uh, uh, some miscellaneous challenges like uh, we have uh, uh, put here some calcium oxide but it never killed everything so you know whenever you want to wash this kind of the uh, the fish ponds here we have uh, much of uh, uh, you put the calcium oxide then uh, you remove it with the water so that's what i've just done here i've just removed it with the water as the guy who, from the officer told me you can just remember the other day he told me that um, uh, whenever you put the calcium oxide here, uh, the agricultural one, then uh, let it settle there for seven days, then release it. So uh, what has now re been released, then I'll just lift it uh, or uh, just uh, let it dry a little bit for like seven days. Then I'll now seal permanently as now we want to stock some fish uh, onto this uh, fish pond. But this one is here, they have uh, to continue with the fertilization as now they are ready to uh, uh, accommodate fish but uh, there's a big challenge still that we have unto this position as um, the people who came to bark or uh, came to make sure that uh, all the places have been sealed there's no seepage is going to uh, take a position unto this fish pond we have a problem at the outlet here because uh, this is where it was um, uh, we had uh, a drainage from and uh, going to the river so we can just spot we have a challenge of water is oozing out water is oozing out from this position and it's going to the river so this one can never work because uh, whenever you have uh, such kind of a challenge coming out from this fish pond here we can just talk about uh, we have a problem yet and also guys uh, whenever you talk about uh, we are having uh, much of the tension going for the calcium oxide but there's nothing we we, we have just to say because you can even see we have some uh, uh, small organisms still inside here which are just the third poles i don't know uh, uh, this agricultural rhyme how it just uh, act because uh, we have to bear with the circumstance guys because uh, uh, this is kenya you can never know maybe uh, we have low intake of such kind of the calcium oxide from uh, uh, this kind of the agrovets but uh, let me open my we have a low tonnage for uh, the people who need such kind of uh, the calcium oxide from uh, uh, the agrovet. So that's kind of uh, the thing that is uh, uh, bringing some chaos to us because you can never know uh, if it has expired. You never know because uh, they can interchange. You can bring some of the sacks and interchange it to one of the sacks that is uh, uh, maybe valid. So sometimes whenever we apply, but this kind of a fish pond that's just besides me here, it's uh, fully good by now. And uh, I don't know how to act upon that one because uh, uh, sometimes we are failing in the government. Sometimes we have fake, fake things that are rolling always unto us. Exactly. So guys, um, today I have uh, this kind of uh, a project is still undergoing and uh, everything now is maintained the only thing remaining is just slashing the the, the sides you can even see the sides of this fish pond here and uh, maybe i want to be making a, a boat boat a boat using uh, uh we talk about uh, such kind of uh, the plantain uh, stock so as uh, we can uh, have a leisure inside here sometimes because i've not yet stocked you can just have a leisure of uh, getting some rounds inside here using such kind of uh, the stalks of the banana and we make it uh, in a way that you can even sit on it 
so that's how the work is ongoing into this position and everything is taking position so guys uh, whatever you are thank you very much for you watching the video and continue watching the video as i'm going to show you more of the relevant things coming out from this farm here, here we have uh, i don't know these are called uh, look at this this stuff see i don't know how they are just called but uh they say that uh, these are just called uh, water purifiers i don't know if it's the fact that they are water purifiers or uh look at how they're just they're just uh moving onto the water here look at them they talk about uh their purifiers i don't know if it's the truth and here guys uh wow this position here it collapsed but uh uh it's still maintained at that position and here we have some cows here hey <laughs> they're grazing from the pathway i like this wow but uh this is the biggest challenge now we have look at here the, maybe it's the cow is passing from this position look at how it's just stepping here and it has gone with uh, such kind of uh, the soil down <laughs> we have a problem this is called the neem tree guys it's a neem tree and uh, it's the old old ever it's ever old here so look at this cow it's just grazing uh, alongside the the, 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 the the fish pond here i don't know you know sometimes we talk about security but uh, these guys uh, you know even this one during the morning guys i was here but it was not uh, uh, coming across to these uh, fish ponds here but uh, in the evening time you can find them here but uh, that's how our village looks here we have a water catchment area this is where water is coming from and uh, it's going into this fish pond here so we have much water coming out from uh, uh, the underground making sure that uh, it's uh, accommodating into this fish pond but uh, it's not yet sealed that's why you can even see how it's just looking like uh, into this position wow so what is coming out wow i like it